Aloha YouTube, it's Doc Rick here, um, doing another unboxing. Actually, it's an unboxing, but then it can also, also be a review because I've used this, what I'm reviewing, uh, I've used it several times uh, over you know, the past few years. Um, but I finally got one for myself. So yeah, it'll be an unboxing and just my thoughts on it and my thought process as to why I got it. So with that, this is my unboxing of a new handgun. Obviously, you can tell by the, by the case, but yeah, I ended up getting a uh, Glock 19. Um, so uh, yeah, the reason behind me getting the Glock 19 is um, I've had the Glock 23 for years, uh, maybe close to 20 years now. And um, not the original one, I mean, over the last 20 years, I probably sold and bought the Glock 23 maybe three or four times. Um, why do I keep selling it? Honestly, I don't like the feeling of the Glock grip. Um, it just feels, you know, really boxy for me, really uh, just too thick. Um, but, you know, when I've sold it, I've, you know, gotten that itch to get it back. So, uh, yeah. So the reason why the 19 is because... I wanted to switch out my uh, concealed carry. So I wanted to switch out, take the 23 off of my uh, permit and then add the 19 to it. Here in uh, here in my county, we can only have three. So yeah, let's just, let me get through the unboxing and um, just show you what's in the box, right? <clears throat> so in the box is obviously, this is what it looks like, right? So there's the handgun. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, magazine, 10 round magazine, uh, the uh, Glock speed loader, and then, uh, you know, soft sided case. We have cable lock, pretty cool. Can't get uh, enough of those. And then I have the paperwork for it. I'm not gonna pull it out, but it's a manual, right? The manual. And then uh, cleaning uh, brush. You know what they don't have this time that I had in my 23 was the uh, the rod, um, the plastic rod. And so, yeah, it's not in here. Anyhow, I'll put the, uh, so I came with two 10 round magazines, the uh, speed loader. Let's go ahead and do a safety check. Empty, empty magazine. You can see empty chamber. So yeah. Uh, you know what the Glock 23 does. Um, I'm not really gonna go through the specs of it. It still has the uh, factory sights. So I'm probably gonna get that changed out to some Ameriglow or some uh, some night sights um, so that I can you know, conceal carry this. I mean, I can conceal carry it without the night sights, but I think uh, it'd be a nice addition. But yeah. Glock 19 and the Glock 23, exactly the same specs, just different caliber, obviously. Um, I've been wanting uh, Glock 19 for years now. Um, actually, for a while, yeah. So the 23, I've always had, you know, I think it was a fad purchase back years ago. Um, not a fad, but, you know, every uh, law enforcement carried a 23, 40 caliber and so on. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. But I needed to switch to the nine millimeter because I wasn't too accurate on the 23, not as accurate as the nine. So, you know, that led me to think, let me go ahead and get uh, the Glock 19. So um, I have three uh, firearms on my permit. Um, I carry a Springfield XD, which I still carry now. Here's the XD. So obviously the XD is a four inch model on this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and holster it back because it is uh, loaded. So um, <clears throat> I'm totally comfortable uh, with the Springfield XD. Um, I would say that out of all my uh, firearms, it's probably the one that I'm most accurate with. So you're probably thinking, well, why don't I stick with it? Well, you know what? The uh, 
19 and the 23 is just a smaller print. So, um, you know, at times when needed, uh, and I, you know, need to go more into a deeper concealment, uh, I would switch over the 23. Another reason I kept, uh, I, you know, got the 19 was because I already have, for instance, the uh, holsters for the 23. Um, so, you know, uh, the 19 is going to fit exactly into where the 23 used to fit. So, um, yeah, so it was really just, you know, this video really was just an unboxing, but more so my thought process as to why I got the 19. Um, smaller print than the uh, Stringfield XD. Um, it's a nine millimeter, um, you know, you can't go wrong with Glock's, uh, you know, quality and, and, you know, their history and so on. And uh, by the way, the other uh, firearm on my license is a uh, SIG P226. So that's a full size gun as well. Um, so I, I, I carry that as well. You know, it just depends on, you know, how I'm feeling, you know, where I'm going. Uh, do I need to, you know, carry, you know, deep conceal? Or, you know, is it something that, you know, based on the clothing that I'm wearing, am I able to, you know, um, hide it uh, if I go with a bigger gun and whatnot? So, yeah. Um, again, thanks for watching. I didn't want to make this video too long. Here we are at six minutes. Um, please, please, please uh, stay safe out there. Um, holidays are coming up. Things are going to get uh, busier. And, you know, we didn't get a chance to do a lot of stuff last year with, you know, being locked down and, and whatnot. <clears throat> but still, you know, hey, COVID is still real. Uh, be safe out there. Uh, please, uh, thanks for supporting uh, my channel. Getting close to that 500th subscriber. That's pretty cool, I think. And um, yeah, uh, click like, um, put in a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for following me. All right. Hey, mahalo and uh, aloha.